Hey everyone, this is Aaron from Dad.0. Oh, so if you follow my channel, you know that I love to review routers, and specifically the newer Wi-Fi 6 routers, and they all kind of claim that they can provide blazing fast speeds, but in actual real life usage, it all kind of really depends on a lot of different factors, like the layout of your home, what sort of materials it's going through, where it's positioned, signal interference, and much more. And because of these factors, all the routers that I've reviewed personally have kind of been maxed out at that three to 400 megabits per second Wi-Fi speeds on my fiber gig internet plan, which I know, oh, poor me, 300 to 400 megabits per second Wi-Fi speeds is still blazing fast. But when you're paying for a gig and you're getting roughly a third of that over Wi-Fi, you kind of wish that you could get just a little bit more out of that. So I had a company reach out to me, brand new company with a brand new product that isn't even on the market yet. And they basically said, hey, I've seen your router reviews. We have a brand new router that will get you that faster speeds. So I told them to send it over and I'll give it a try. So this is the Elfx AX6000 Mesh Tri-Band Router. And I've been using it for about two and a half weeks now. So I just want to show you what you get with this product and tell you the performance that I am seeing compared to the other routers that I've tested. So it comes in a pretty large box, really professional looking, and it should because this is not a cheap router. The company has stated that it will go on sale for around $500 US. So you do expect a little bit of premium packaging and design, and that's what you get here. Opening the box up, and you can see you get the two different routers here. One is the main router that you plug into your modem, and the other is a sub router that you'll use to create a mesh network. Both routers have the same exact design, and it looks premium. It has a gray front and back with black sides, holes on the sides for ventilation, subtle branding on the bottom left side, a status LED light that shines down, which is nice so it's not shining right in your face. And then on the back is your inputs. Both routers have the power input, a reset button, and a sync button along with four gigabit LAN ports. And the only difference is that the main router has the 2.5 gigabit WAN port and the design is pretty unique. It's more of a tower design but not looking like a tower. It has some nice subtle angles to it. I mean it looks really professional. Also in the box is your instruction manuals and how to get set up. And then you have two 12 volt power adapters for each of the routers along with an ethernet cord and an FCC compliance card. So a few features of this router, again, it's a tri-band AX6000, capable of producing a total rate of 12,000 megabits per second, covering an area of 7,500 square feet or eight rooms. Again, that's what they quote, but that's gonna really depend on your home's layout. It can connect up to 300 devices at the same time. It has a 2.2 gigahertz quad-core processor, Qualcomm 5G Wi-Fi chip, eight antennas, and all the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology. Now, even though this company and this product is brand new, they do have an app that you use to get this set up. So first thing you do is you download the app, you then plug in the main router and connect an ethernet port from your modem to the WAN port. From there, you just use the app to get this set up. They claim it takes about three minutes. And in my testing, it was actually faster than that. You just find the signal that it starts to broadcast, you connect to it, and then just follow the steps on the app. You can then rename the SSID, set a password, and then once the main router is set up, you then go in and plug in the sub router and connect to it. Now the nice thing is that the status LED light on the sub router will tell you the connection it has with the main router. If it's blue, it has a gray connection. A blinking blue light means it has a fair connection. And if it's red, it means it doesn't have a connection at all and you need to bring it closer to the main router. So setup was really simple, especially using the app, which for a brand new company with a brand new product not even on the market yet, the app is really good. There are just a few bugs that I know that they're working out, but on the main homepage, you can see your throughput. You can see the connection between the main and the sub router and see how many devices are connected to your network. And then you can go into settings and you can adjust the Wi-Fi settings. You can enable a guest network. You can toggle with the network settings. There is parental controls. There's signal detection. So you can see the signal strength in each room. There's system settings, there are firmware updates, and you can give feedback right on the app. So there isn't a lot of super advanced settings as of this review, but it's very user-friendly and it's very easy to set up, which will make a lot of people happy. All right, let's get to what everybody's wondering, and that is the performance and the range. And I have to say, I'm completely blown away by the performance of this mesh routing system. Like I said, previous routers that I've tested have kind of capped out in that three to 400 max download and upload speeds over Wi-Fi. And I thought just because I have an older home made out of really thick materials, I live in a very congested Wi-Fi area that 
that's just the max that I'm able to get. But my first speed test with this router in the same room, I got nearly 900 megabits per second download speeds and almost 600 megabits per second upload speeds over Wi-Fi. Basically, I'm getting my gig speeds that I pay for over Wi-Fi, which I didn't think would be possible. Range has been really good too. Now you can toggle in the settings if you want to separate the 5G and the 2.4G channels, which I personally like to do because I like to know which one I'm on. Or you can just keep it one SSID and have the router toggle that for you, depending upon your range from the router. But long story short, I can go a couple rooms away from each router and still get five, 600 download speeds. I can go outside my home where the router has to travel through a couple interior walls and also an exterior wall. And I can still get two and 300 megabits per second download speeds in the farthest part of my yard. And I think the great thing is that the speed has been really consistent. Every single time I check, and I try to check daily, I'm always between 700 and 900 megabits per second download speeds in the same room as one of the routers. So like I said, this thing has completely blown me away with the speeds I'm able to get. I didn't think it was possible to get my full gig over Wi-Fi, and it literally provides over twice as fast Wi-Fi speeds as some of the more well-known brands that I've tested. So in short, I'm pretty giddy about this thing. Now, like I said, this is not a cheap routing system. You're gonna pay a premium for it, but if you wanna get those top-end speeds, I think it's totally worth it. And performance-wise, this thing is ready to hit the market. I think the app needs a firmware or two update to fix some bugs, but I expect them to hit the market soon with this. So if you're interested in it, make sure you come back check the description. I'll put a link where you can buy it when it's available. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching to the end. If you like the video, press that like button. Also consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch you on the next video.